Yeah, and you know, today's one of those days you're going to wake up, head outside, and say, oh, it's kind of damp out <laughs> here. Is this going to continue throughout the day ahead? I do expect there will be some dry parts to today, which is great news for folks that have outdoor interests, and especially if you're working on a project outside or you work outside for a living. So yeah, you know, you can see that the activity is widely scattered this morning. Most of it hung up here in the Sierra, but I have been seeing a couple more showers blossom right now just east of Folsom Lake. So for reference there, that's Folsom Lake, and you can see a couple of showers there working towards the Highway 49 corridor, and we will probably see some of those bands of showers right over Cameron Park and then on up the hill to Placerville and into Pollock Pines. Right now we've got very light snow coming down at some of the higher Sierra peaks, but I've been watching this one band of snow that's right over a uh, Blue Canyon area and extends out over towards Immigrant Gap there along Interstate 80. And then you get south of the Highway 50 stretch and we've got light snowfall coming down here from Bear Valley and then down parts of Highway 4. You'll probably meet that snow line right into Big Meadow just to the east there of Cottage Springs. And then of course Bear Valley. Snow cats, they're out. They're up early with us as well getting them out and ready for the day there at Bear Valley and still waiting to hear on the snow report there of how much snow has been collected in the past 24 hours. I do expect that we'll probably have those chain controls up for a good portion of probably the next couple of hours. We get beyond 11 a.m. Things will really start to greatly improve there in the Sierra as the snow showers will really start to wind down. But then we get into more active weather from Friday into Saturday and even parts of Sunday as well. Let's go through this future cast. This is six o'clock for your Thursday weather system is approaching. We will expect to have again just unsettled conditions today, but a lot of dry parts to today as well. Now by Friday, Friday morning is going to likely start out dry with this system working its way down the coast of California and extending bands of moisture into our area. And that's going to bring us those periods of showers and some steady rainfall Friday night on into Saturday. Now Saturday afternoon, it's going to be cool. It's going to be unsettled with chances for showers throughout the day and snowfall as well over the Sierra. Now looking ahead to Sunday, of course, for folks with interest for Easter Sunday, I do expect that while we may see a brief shower or two in the valley, the better activity is going to be in the foothills in the Sierra, and we're looking at very minor accumulations for Sunday. Now you are going to see in the seven day forecast this icon, an impact icon for Friday. That's because we have potential for some slow travel. And we know that going into a holiday weekend, you may be traveling somewhere over the weekend. <coughs> Snow level for Friday above 4,500 feet. The best rain is expected late in the day on Friday, lasting into the overnight time frame. Now looking ahead to Saturday, there will be periods of showers, but the wetter of the two days is going to be Friday. Then looking ahead to Sunday, partly to mostly cloudy skies, low 60s, and a chance for a few brief stray showers possible. Then down the road next week, we dry out, we warm up, and look at that, we go to the 70s. So couple nice. periods of active weather in the next few days, and then we have that kind of reward towards yeah. the end of it. Yeah. Certainly <laughs> worth the wait. All yeah. right.